Okay. Okay, let's start the... Oh, okay. Okay, are you okay? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue about location. Oh, we are done. Just wait, I will check. What page we are already done? We already done this, right? Mm. We uh, will start in the slide seven. Slide seven. This is? Uh, yes. Okay, just listen, okay? The door against the wall. To the left of the door? Five. Now I need to find a place for this old chair that my mom gave me. How about over there? You mean in front of the window? Yes. We the question fine. We can start. The question one. Okay, we are done this. Also this. So this is already. Can you hear the sounds? Yes or no? Uh, yes. But uh, they start in question five. What is that? But the... But uh, they start in the question five. They don't start in the question one. Okay. Just wait, I will listen. One. Can you hear one? Do you one? think I should put the magazine rack next to the window? No, not next to the window. I'd put it in the corner next to the sofa. It will look nice there. Two. Where do you think I should put the coffee table? Should I put it next to the sofa? I think it will be better in front of the sofa. It will be more useful there, I think. Three. What about the plant stand? It might be nice next to the window. Yes, next to the window, either on the left or on the right. I think I'll put it on the right. Four. Now, what about the bookshelf? It's so big. Hmm. What do you think? How about next to the door against the wall? To the left of the door? Five. Now I need to find a place for this old chair that my mom gave me. How about over there? You mean in front of the window? Six. We still have to find a place for this end table. Yes. Where can we put it? How about next to the sofa, in the corner near the door? Yes, good. Is that okay now? Seven. Where is a good place for the TV? How about in the far left corner, to the left of the window? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll put it there. There. How does it look? Eight. What about the dinner table? Maybe we can put the dinner table against the wall, across from the sofa, in the middle of the wall. Across from the sofa, against the wall. Is that what you mean? Okay, hello, Doc. Can you hear? Uh, yes. Okay, what is your answer number one? Uh, number one, E, B. Yes, yes, I agree. Number two? Uh, number two, E, C. 
Number three. Oh, number three. Ay. Okay, okay. The try that. Number four. Oh, number four is C. Number five. Number five B. B, yeah, that's right. Number six. Oh, number six B. Yes, that's perfect. Number seven. Number seven is C. It's look fine. It looks fine. Number S E A. Yes, that one. Yes, a very good duck. No next. Ching. Okay, just listen carefully, duck. Okay, just listen. One. Just wait for a minute. Do these magazines go on the bookshelf? Yes. Put them on the bookshelf, please. Listen. On the top is fine. Should I put them beside the dictionary? Yes, next to the dictionary will be fine. I'd like to read these magazines later. They look interesting. Two. What about the remote control for the TV? Put it beside the TV. There's a magazine there, the TV program guide. Should I put it on the TV program guide? That's fine. And remind me to get a new battery for the remote when we go downtown. Okay. Three. These look like your car keys. Where do you usually keep them? They're my extra apartment keys, actually. Just put them in one of the drawers in the desk. The top two drawers are already full of stuff, so I'll put them in the bottom drawer for you. They'll be inside an empty box. Okay. Four. Do you want me to put this baseball cap away? Yeah, just put it behind the door. Where? Should I hang it on the doorknob? No, on the hook behind the door. It will be fine there, thanks. I didn't know you wore a baseball cap. It's not mine, it's my brother's. Five. Do you need these glasses? Not right now. I only use them for reading. Do you see the case they go in? I don't see it. Oh, never mind. Leave them on the coffee table next to those sheets of paper. Okay. Six. There's a belt lying on the floor here. Oh, yes. That's my brother's. He leaves his clothes everywhere. It drives me crazy. Should I put it somewhere? Leave it on the chair. He always sits there. Okay. The chair next to the window? That's right. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Uh, the man one the man is in a uh, uh, on the bookshelf next to the listening. Maybe. Very good. Number two. A uh, number two is the remote control is besides the TVs on the TVs program guys. Beside the TV and the TV program, guide number three. Oh, number three, the case are in a box inside one of the desk drawer. Okay, in a box inside one of the desk drawers. Oh, number four is a... On the hook. Yes, on the hook behind the door. Number five. Number five is the glass on the coffee table next to the paper. Number six is the bell on the chair next to the window. Okay, the book on the sofa in front of the window. Mm, that is letter B on the chair next to the window. Next. Oh. Just lesson, okay? I will One. give you sample. Just lesson. Do these carefully. magazines go on the bookshelf? Yes. Put them on the bookshelf, please. On the top is fine. 
Should I put them beside the dictionary? Yes, next to the dictionary will be fine. I'd like to read these magazines later. They look interesting. <coughs> Two. What about the remote control for the TV? Put it beside the TV. There's a magazine there, the TV program guide. Should I put it on the TV program guide? That's fine. And remind me to get a new battery for the remote when we go downtown. Okay. Three. These look like your car keys. Where do you usually keep them? They're my extra apartment keys, actually. Just put them in one of the drawers in the desk. The top two drawers are already full of stuff, so I'll put them in the bottom drawer for you. They'll be inside an empty box. Okay. Four. Do you want me to put this baseball cap away? Yeah, just put it behind the door. Where? Should I hang it on the doorknob? No, on the hook behind the door. It will be fine there, thanks. I didn't know you wore a baseball cap. It's not mine, it's my brother's. Five. Do you need these glasses? Not right now. I only use them for reading. Do you see the case they go in? I don't see it. Oh, never mind. Leave them on the coffee table next to those sheets of paper. Okay. Six. There's a belt lying on the floor here. Oh, yes. That's my brother's. He leaves his clothes everywhere. It drives me crazy. Should I put it somewhere? Leave it on the chair. He always sits there. Okay. The chair next to the window? That's right. Okay, what is your answer? Um, one is two. Number three? Number two is phone. Number three is phone. Number four is phone. Number five is two. And number six is phone. Yes, Tony has to read the magazine. That is true. The remote control has new battery. False. The case are for the office, so the answer is false again. The baseball cap belongs to Sandy's. That is false. Sandy needs glasses for reading. True. Sandy's brother is always very neat. Okay, what is your answer? That is false. Okay, let's practice. I am A and you are B. Okay. Ma'am, have you seen magazine? I think it's in the middle of the top of the team. No, where's today's newspaper? Oh, I was reading it. It's on the sofa between cushions. cushions. Do you know where the remote control is? Uh, look in the living room. I think I should. It's in front of the TV. Oh, yeah. Where is my tennis racket? Did Dad borrow it again? I wish he had asked me. Uh, I saw it in bedroom under your bed. Mm, oh, yeah, that's right. Hmm, okay, we have... Do you think I should put the magazine rack next to the window? Okay. Uh, no, lost next to the window. I put in the color next to the sofa. It will look like that. 
Okay, where do you think I should put the coffee sofa? I'll be, oh no. Where do you think I should put the coffee table? Should I put it next to the sofa? Uh, I think it will be better in front of the sofa. It be more useful there, I think. Okay. What about the plant stand? It might be nice next to the window. Uh, either just next to the window, either on the left or on the right. I think I'll put it on the right. Now, what about the box shelf? It's so big. Um, what do you think? Um, about next to the door, against the wall. To the left of the door? Now, I need to find a place for this old chair that my mom gave me. Uh, how about over there? You mean in front of the window? Uh, we still have to find place for this end table. Yes, where can we put it? How about next to the sofa in the corner near the door? Yes, good. Is that, is that okay now? Where is a good place for the TV? about in the far left color to the left of the window yeah that sounds good i'll put it there there how does it look what about the dinner table maybe we can put the dinner tables Okay, miss the walls across from the sofa in the middle of the room. Okay, across from the sofa against the wall. Is that what you mean? Oh, there are men asleep. <gasps> okay. Will this magazine go on to the bookshelf? Yes, put them on the bookshelf, please. On the top, if I. Should I put them beside the dictionary? Yes, look at the dictionary, you will be fine. I'd like to read this magazine letter. They look interesting. What about the remote control for the TV? Uh, there are magazines, a uh, magazine there. The TVs and push it beside the TV. There is a magazine there. The TV program guide. Should I put it on the TV program guide? Oh, that's fine. And we need we need to get a uh, remind me to get for the remote. Where we go downtown. Okay, this look like your car case. Where do you usually keep them? Uh, there is my HR's apartment train. Actually, uh, those put up in one of the drawers in the nest. The top two drawers are already full of the stuff, so I'll out them in the bottom drawer for you. They'll be inside in an empty box. Do, uh, okay. okay, do you want me to put this baseball cap away? Uh, 
Jesus put it behind the door. Well, should I hang it on the door now? No, on the book, on the hook behind the door. It will be fine. So. I didn't know you wrote a baseball cap. Oh, uh, it's not mine. It's my brother. Do you need these glasses? Um, not right now. I only use them for reading. Did you see the cast they go in? I don't see it. Oh, never mind. Leave them on the coffee table. Let's do those seats of paper. There's a bill. Mm, are you okay? There's a boat lying on the floor here. Um, oh, yes, that's my brother again. Oh, yes, that's my brother. Uh, he sleeps this closes everywhere. Is the right speaker? Should I put it somewhere? Olive is on the chair. He always sees it. Okay, the chair next to the window. That's right. Yes, we are done. Okay, what have you learned today, though? Uh, I learned about, about listening. So, uh, okay, what have you learned, Doc? Oh, learned about the locations, about something uh, in, in somewhere. Okay, so that is location, right? So our lesson for today is about location. So location means it can help us um, for our materials, right? For example, you are a student. So where did you put your bag after your class? What teacher? Where did you where did you put your bag after class? Ah, uh, after class, I put my bag up in my uh, on the chair on the my chair. Okay. How about your books? Uh, the book. Okay. Wait. The book, okay. I, I put it on the bookshelf. Yes, in the bookshelves. And how about your shoes, your the sack? The shoe I put is on the the shoe I put is on I don't. <laughs> so. Um, if you have many material things, right, like bag, notebook, a pencil, okay, there is a location for that. So that um, um, you can easily find it. So example, in our co-house, right? So we have sofa, we have bed, okay? That is the material in our house. So just remember that that we need to put in a proper locations of each item or of each material. Why? So that it is very comfortable to look, right? Yes. Okay, and it is a very beautiful in your house. If your material or item will be, what is that? will be properly put on, right? 
Okay, so there are many kinds of location. Where do you want to put? Like a books you want to put in the bookshelves, your notebook, your shoes will be put on the show rack, right? Okay, your dress will be put up in the cabinet, right? That's it. So, how? what did you learn about locations in your own? In what? Okay, what did you learn about locations in your own? Yeah, can location help you every day? Mm, yes. Why? Because we must remember the location. Okay, so location is very important. Why? Because that is also the real you if where you will put everything or something that <clears throat> you can easily find also right okay it is better to segregate something or you must put in a proper way so that someday if will if you will find that material or that item you can easily find also Right? <laughs> okay, so now, dog, do you have any questions? Mm. Um. Do you have any no. questions? No. No. <laughs> Okay, you can ask question to teacher. We have two minutes left. We have two minutes left, Doc. You can ask everything. You can ask anything you want to ask. I will uh, give you the floor to speak. Teacher? Yes. Um, what do you think? around the education of the world. Okay, what is that, Doc? What, what, what did you say? Um, what, do, uh, what do you think about the uh, education of the world? Education? Yes. Why education is very important? Oh uh, no. What do you think about the education of the world? What do I think about education? You mean? Uh, of the work about the work. Ah, okay. About the work of education? Yes. Okay, so education is ra is like a teacher, right? Okay, so being uh, as a teacher, doc, okay, you are very responsible also to learn the lesson every day. So you have a student, right? So example, doc, we have a lesson today, then before we start our lesson, it is a very important that the teacher also will first study that lesson. Why? Because if the teacher will not study, if the student will ask the questions in that lesson, the teacher cannot answer also. So being a work of an education, you are always focusing to study and to learn 
to familiarize because you are the model for each children. Okay, you are the one to help to guide them so that they will learn also. Okay, so you are very responsible for everything if you work for an education. Okay, so you must be who you are. You must be, what is that? You must be do your best even though um, there are times that you are very tired, but being as a worker or as a teacher, example, as a teacher, you will do your best, right? Don't be think that you are always tired. Why? Because that is tired is not the reason why you cannot teach properly for its children. You cannot work properly in the company, right? So tired is the lessonest way of each everyone, right? Okay, tired can make you also down, right? Do you, uh, tired can lose our dreams in life. So that's why being a worker of an education or um, a work for education, you are very, very responsible, even though you are not a teacher or something that you are only an um, office worker or everything that um, there are many kinds of work, right, dog? So just always remember, just be responsible only and you will be open-minded and you will always think positive. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Um. But I do not every person. Uh. What? Uh. I think is we must fair with every uh, um. We must fair with every. every talent of everyone because yes. so that's it also uh, some i see in the when i was maybe some i see the mother side you are stupid you must uh, study uh, uh, someone in the neighborhood yes so that's it also dogs dog um do not judge the other people why because every people also has a talent or has um what is it has a purpose why um they are who who what they are now right because mm, it depends upon and every people on how to handle everything right okay each of everyone has a talent Okay, uh, the teacher do will be always guide, appreciate, praise the talent of its children. That's why there are times that if the teacher will praise or appreciate the doing of the children, what happened to the children? So, the children will be active and they will also try their best to do everything because they feel that the teacher will praise to him or to them, right? Oh, yes. And the Amos Einstein say everyone is against uh, us. Uh, we can now, uh, um, we can, I think we can. We can valuable a piece with abilities of Kolam achieve. We must we are uh, we must uh, valuable a piece with ability of swim so they can try try they can to yeah, what they can see, uh, uh, they can see they, they good at that, so they try. But 
if you if you are valuables of this with ability uh, climbing the tree they can climbing so they say we are stupid stupid we can do anything yes so that's it also value everything so that's what she said valuable so val value everything that's it the very important though value everything even though um sometimes oh oh we think that um we just think about negative right all people will think negative sometimes because oh if you are not valuing in one thing or if you are not give value for everything so no. what happened to you also you will make down you will make close right um you make um no hope at all if you not value everything so even in a small things the most important is value it right value appreciate it and think that things always okay okay doc do you have any question uh no <laughs> okay doc thank you so much for your time today thank you for your talking for your sharing the ideas okay which you will be very happy today because um uh, before we start our lesson okay as i start being your teacher i appreciate your um what is that your performance every day why because and every day that we discuss our lesson also you are very what is that active okay active and then you learn many things and you can talk even though that is for the uh, what is that for the adults only right uh, you can express your feelings also did you remember that you can express easily your feelings and then you can also discuss it very well so good job doc just continue of being who you are right just always study doc i know you have a dreams right i know um if you will practice being what is that discussing everything or practice reading or you will always practice speaking or practice in explaining um, everything, okay, you will become a good speaker and a good listener also, right? Okay, being a good, um, first you will practice in explaining something. Explain, explain. If you want to explain, just put your explanation here through your heart and your mind okay okay thank you so much for your time doc see you next time bye bye good night <laughs>